would be the way to do it. Okay? Again, there can be three police officers here in this room, and he can do whatever he wants, tell me what he's going to do whatever he wants. But if you're looking down the barrel of the business end of this Malinois, there is a sense of pause. And you think long and hard. Can I outrun that dog? Can I outjump that dog? No, you can't. Okay? But the dog's got this when he's not very noisy. You see how he just flexes his, his knees? If he were to move around, the dog responds to that. He doesn't have to be told. Okay? Um, if I were to go up and I were to pat search him and he started fighting, I wouldn't have to call the dog. The dog knows it's handler protection. The dog needs to do what the dog needs to do. And, uh, are you ready to do it? Do you have anything on your legs? No, I'm just So if I were to say, I have this gentleman, and I say, Sir, Santa Fe Police Department, you're under arrest for not jamming in the back. Here's what I want you to do. I'm going to come up and I'm going to pat search you. If you resist at all or you attempt to flee, I will deploy the dog and you will be bit. That's important. Because, well, that's important for him. I off. What's, it, what's, what's seriously important is the fact that I have given him what's going to happen. This, there's a consequence. Okay? You're going to be bit. When I come to search a building, I do it in English and Spanish, my commands, and I give them enough time to surrender. But in that, I tell them, and some people hear that, they go, man, that police officer is threatening that person. The bottom line is, it's more responsible for me to tell them what the consequence of their action is going to be. So that somebody can say, well, yeah, he said he was going to send the dog, but, you know, I didn't think I was going to get bit. I thought the dog was going to come and bark at me. Okay? Yeah. I tell them, if you're inside the building, identify yourself, I'm going to deploy the police dog, he will find you, and he will bite you. Okay? And that's just a matter of fact. That's what we need to do, let them know. There's a consequence for everything. Like when you're, you got kids at home and you say, don't do that again, there's no consequence to that. Whatever, why not do it again? <laughs> don't do that again or you're grounded. Right? That has a little bit more to it. Well, not as much as him. But it's got some teeth. Okay, I'm going to allow him to take a bite. I'm going to say that he, he had been resisting. I, I can't do so much here on this floor. Number one, I don't want the dog to hurt his legs or anything like that. And number two, I need to keep him on lead. But I want to show you how he will bite and, and uh, he'll hold the suspect. Okay? Now, <laughs> 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 I'm going to call you back to me and I'm going to walk back to me and then when I say stop, I want you to start walking forward. Suspect, walk back to the sound of my voice. Walk back to the sound of my voice. Stop. Stop, sir. I'm going to send the dog. Stick. Stick. He's going to remain on that bike until that suspect stops fighting, or I call him off. Suspect, stop fighting. Stand still for a 